Welcome to another episode of NGWN Music News. If it ain't news, it really is not music, and you guys know that already. So, we will kick off the show with some deeply disturbing news from Master of Infinite Wisdom, DJ Khalid, who spoke out this week stating that he does not already visit his wife's lady god. But at least I have a big schlong. Yep, yet he still expects her to make frequent trips to his cock for what the Oh no. Yep, and this has been in the news this week. But it's not all bad news for you ladies, as many celebrities have actually reacted to this rubbish news, including all around hunk and good guides, Wayne Johnson. Welcome to the show, buddy. Hey, baby. And he has got something to say, so let's take it away. As a man, I take great pride in mastering all performances. This is probably a little TMI. That's right. All performances. Hmm, that's strange. What a great guy. It's just like real milk. Next up, we bring you a tragic, tragic story. Well, you've heard it before. It's Liam Gallagher. Hey! The train wreck of a man is having his demoralizing life committed to film in a new documentary named As It Was, the story of another northern crackhead. <clears throat> the film is to be a tell-all of Liam's perilous journey from Oasis frontman to boozed up solo star and emerging from his brother's shadow. Well, now you can stop right there, fella. Now, let's get it straight, okay? No one really liked Liam back then. And Noel is the one with the successful solo career now. So, the idea that this movie would be anything more than a half cock remake of Train Spotting starring Liam Gallagher is absolutely absurd. But not quite as absurd as the allegations put out against Lily Allen. Who is rumored to have joined the Mile High Club with Liam and the 23rd Loop King. If you're here, can you just. Fine, whatever. She was rumored to have joined the Mile High Club with Liam back in 2013 and allegedly caused the subsequent divorce to Nicole from All Saints in 2014. What in the hell? However, if you were Nicole, would you not have made up this rumor? I mean, it's a pretty good way to get out of being with this miserable mug. LOL! Our condolences go out to Lily and Nicole, of course, for having been involved with this absolute nutter, and to anyone who will be subjected to a viewing of Liam's documentary. And in good news this week, Prince of Darkness Alice Cooper says he's not going to be turning the lights off on his career. Not until people stop coming to his shows, that is. Now that is rock and roll! <laughs> good on you, man. Yeah. Though our most shocking news of the week, it comes from. It comes from. Oh, it comes from Donald Trump! Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, once again, every freaking week with this guy is like a horse in a hospital, if you know what I mean. Who thanks Kanye West for boosting his African-American approval ratings at a freaking NRA meeting. That is it. Boycott. No more Yeezys. No more albums. Burn this man. Are you kidding me? Come on. One of the most influential African-American celebrities in the US is actually helping one of America's most racist presidents to date? I mean, seriously. It's like a Jew being Hitler's political advisor. And I can say that. You see this? I can say that. But no, the story does not end there, as Senor President Turd over here is organizing a race summit. Are they gonna race? I don't know. We'll find out. And the attendees so far are listed as, of course, Kanye, mm -hmm. and the generous Mr. Mike Tyson, who will be there to chew on the president's ear in case everything goes as terribly as it should. I believe I can.
And now, why bass players should not sing. Welcome back from that horror show. It is time for the good, the bad, and the straight up ugly bugger, eh? Looking like the deformed remnants of the hives and tame and parlor, it's these guys. Ice Age. And if you are on that new age psychedelic or wave, <laughs> the day the music dies is the track for your ugly ass. And this bad boy right here is Plan B, but I'm sure you all know that. The artist whose debut smash, Charmaine, spoke of pedophilia, has brought out this most turdy album. Indeed. And there's not much more to say on that, so I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm just going to leave it all alone. Mm -hmm. But in the good spot this week, we have Peace whose previous releases have bombed harder than Hiroshima, however their latest release, Kindness is the New Rock and Roll, it has indeed struck a chord with me and I'll be sticking my word behind it for all the rock and roll lovers, fighters and survivors. And that's the week. This cowboy in the suit has got some pretty decent stuff and he's uploading every Wednesday, 8 p.m. GMT. You know the deal. And if you dig it, go click it. Click them both, click them both. And if you got something to say, just don't spray. Leave it in the comments. I'm out.